CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 8 comparing quantities page 153 8.1 introduction in our daily life there are many occasions when we compare two quantities Suppose we are comparing heights of Hina and Amir. We find that 1. Hina is two times taller than Amir or 2. Amir's height is half of Hina's height. We have a figure given here which shows us that Hina's height is 150 centimeters, Amir's height is 75 centimeters. Consider another example where 20 marbles are divided between Rita and Amit, such that Rita has 12 marbles and Amit has 8 marbles. We say, 1. Rita has 3 upon 2 times the marbles that Amit has, or 2. Amit has 2 third part of what Rita has. Yet another example is where we compare speeds of a cheetah and a man. The speed of a cheetah is six times the speed of a man, or the speed of a man is one-sixth of the speed of the cheetah. We have a figure given here which tells us speed of cheetah 120 km per hour, speed of man 20 km per hour. Do you remember comparisons like this? In class 6, we have learned to make comparisons by saying how many times one quantity is of the other. Here, we see that it can also be inverted and written as what part one quantity is of the other. Page 154 in the given cases, we write the ratio of the heights as Hina's height is to Amir's height is 150 is to 75 or 2 is to 1. Can you now write the ratios for the other comparisons? These are relative comparisons and could be same for two different situations. If Hina's height was 150 centimeters, and Amir's was 100 centimeters, then the ratio of their heights would be Hina's height is to Amir's height is equal to 150 is to 100, which is equal to 150 upon 100, which is equal to 3 upon 2, or 3 is to 2. This is same as the ratio for Rita's to Amit's share of marbles. Thus, we see that the ratio for two different comparisons may be the same. Remember that to compare two quantities, the units must be the same. A ratio has no units. Example 1. Find the ratio of 3 kilometers to 300 meters. Solution. First, convert both the distances to the same unit. So, 3 kilometers is equal to 3 multiplied by 1000 meters, which is equal to 3000 meters. Thus, the required ratio, 3 kilometers to 300 meters is, 3000 is to 300, which is equal to 10 is to 1. 8.2 Equivalent ratios. Different ratios can also be compared with each other to know whether they are equivalent or not. To do this, we need to write the ratios in the form of fractions and then compare them by converting them to like fractions. If these like fractions are equal, we say the given ratios are equivalent. Example 2. Are the ratios 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 3 equivalent? Solution. To check this, 
we need to know whether 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 upon 3. We have 1 upon 2 equal to 1 multiplied by 3 upon 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 3 upon 6. 2 upon 3 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 upon 3 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 4 upon 6. We find that 3 upon 6 is less than 4 upon 6, which means that 1 upon 2 is less than 2 upon 3. Therefore, the ratio 1 is to 2 is not equivalent to the ratio 2 is to 3. Use of such comparisons can be seen by the following example. Example 3. Following is the performance of a cricket team in the matches it played. Year, wins, losses. Last year, 8, 2. This year, 4, 2. In which year was the record better? How can you say so? Page 155 Solution Last year, wins is to losses is equal to 8 is to 2, which is equal to 4 is to 1. This year, wins is to losses is equal to 4 is to 2, which is equal to 2 is to 1. Obviously, 4 is to 1 is greater than 2 is to 1. In fraction form, 4 upon 1 is greater than 2 upon 1. Hence, we can say that the team performed better last year. In class 6, we have also seen the importance of equivalent ratios. The ratios which are equivalent are said to be in proportion. Let us recall the use of proportions. Keeping things in proportion and getting solutions. Aruna made a sketch of the building she lives in and drew sketch of her mother standing beside the building. Mona said, there seems to be something wrong with the drawing. Can you say what is wrong? How can you say this? In this case, the ratio of heights in the drawing should be the same as the ratio of actual heights. That is, actual height of building upon actual height of mother is equal to height of building in drawing upon height of mother in the drawing. Only then would these be in proportion. Often, when proportions are maintained, the drawing seems pleasing to the eye. Another example where proportions are used is in the making of national flags. Do you know that the flags are always made in a fixed ratio of length to its breadth? These may be different for different countries, but are mostly around 1.5 is to 1 or 1.7 is to 1. We can take an approximate value of this ratio as 3 is to 2. Even the Indian postcard is around the same ratio. Now, can you say whether a card with length 4.5 cm and breadth 3.0 cm is near to this ratio? That is, we need to ask, is 4.5 is to 3.0 equivalent to 3 is to 2? We note that 4.5 is to 3.0 is equal to 4.5 upon 3.0, which is equal to 45 upon 30, which is equal to 3 upon 2. Hence, we see that 4.5 is to 3.0 is equivalent to 3 is to 2. 
we see a wide use of such proportions in real life. Can you think of some more situations? We have also learned a method in the earlier classes known as unitary method, in which we first find the value of one unit and then the value of the required number of units. Let us see how both the above methods help us to achieve the same thing. Example 4 A map is given with a scale of 2 cm is equal to 1000 km. What is the actual distance between the two places in kilometers if the distance in the map is 2.5 centimeters? Page 156 Solution Harun does it like this. Let distance is equal to x kilometers. Then, 1000 is to x is equal to 2 is to 2.5. 1000 upon x is equal to 2 upon 2.5. 1000 multiplied by x multiplied by 2.5 upon x is equal to 2 upon 2.5 multiplied by x multiplied by 2.5. 1000 into 2.5 is equal to x multiplied by 2 x is equal to 1250. Mira does it like this. 2 centimeters means 1000 kilometers. So, 1 centimeter means 1000 upon 2 kilometers. Hence, 2.5 centimeter means 1000 upon 2 multiplied by 2.5 kilometers, which is equal to 1250 kilometers. Arun has solved it by equating ratios to make proportions and then by solving the equation. Mira has first found the distance that corresponds to 1 centimeter and then used that to find what 2.5 centimeters would correspond to. She used the unitary method. Let us solve some more examples using the unitary method. Example 5. Six bowls cost 90 rupees. What would be the cost of 10 such bowls? Solution. Cost of six bowls is 90 rupees. Therefore, cost of one bowl is equal to 90 upon 6 rupees. Hence, cost of 10 bowls is equal to 90 upon 6 multiplied by 10 rupees, which is equal to 150 rupees. Example 6. The car that I own can go 150 kilometers with 25 liters of petrol. How far can it go? with 30 liters of petrol. Solution With 25 liters of petrol, the car goes 150 kilometers. With 1 liter, the car will go 150 upon 25 kilometers. Hence, with 30 liters of petrol, it would go 150 upon 25 multiplied by 30 kilometers which is equal to 180 kilometers. In this method, we first found the value for one unit or the unit rate. This is done by the comparison of two different properties. For example, when you compare total cost to number of items, we get cost per item or if you take distance travelled to time taken, we get distance per unit time. Thus, you can see that we often use per to mean for each. For example, 
kilometers per hour, children per teacher, etc. denote unit rates. Page 157 Think, discuss and write. Ant can carry 50 times its weight. If a person can do the same, how much would you be able to carry? Exercise 8.1 1. Find the ratio of A. 5 rupees to 50 paise B. 15 kilogram to 210 grams C. 9 meters to 27 centimeters D. 30 days to 36 hours 2. In a computer lab, there are three computers for every six students. How many computers will be needed for 24 students? 3. Population of Rajasthan is equal to 570 lakhs and population of UP is equal to 1660 lakhs. Area of Rajasthan is equal to 3 lakh square kilometers and area of UP is equal to 2 lakh square kilometers. 1. How many people are there per square kilometer in both these states? 2. Which state is less populated? You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.